quite a sight there is Allen uh, going down the back stretch the wrong way on the track. Bob, I have been involved in the sport of auto racing for about 35 years, and that's the first time that I've ever seen the winner say out on the racetrack and go the wrong way, but he wanted all of those fans, he wanted to wave at them, the thousands up on the hills here at the Phoenix International Raceway and everywhere. A lot of credit. Uh, that victory lap there is something I had thought about for a long time, and I wanted to do something special and never be another first win, and I just wanted him to give him something to remember me by. With it. Here, Here they comes come. Morgan down to the line. Davy Allison first. Morgan Shepard gets it all back there. Has he got anything left? Coming to the strike. Morgan comes to the inside, and Davy Allison is going to win the Daytona 500. The Alabama gang has done it again. The son of a great champion at this track, Bobby Allison. Maybe 10, 15 degrees, a third of a mile around. Tim Richmond going after win number two. When he crosses the finish line, Tim Richmond will be two for two, batting 1,000 in 1987. Here comes Tim Richmond. He's a winner again. He's done a lot of racing and, and he was, from what I understand, kind of on his way to, to running, you know, hopefully in Cup and um, I guess was running then, I guess what was the Xfinity Series then and, and doing pretty well at it. So. He had a pretty big impact on my family, obviously losing him at a young age. Barroso pushes his nose ahead. Unbelievable. Well, for the last lap, that's a close one. There's Ernie Irvin sitting right up behind him. Barroso and Trickle. Trickle comes just a bit ahead. And at the line, they're neck and neck, but it looked like Trickle to me. Looked like Barroso to me. Oh. Kansas, we are in Kansas City, Kansas. For well, the inaugural O'Reilly Auto Parts 250, and now three quarters of a mile stands between Ricky Hendrick and a GMAC Chevrolet win in NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series competition. Here he comes out. Woo! Hell yeah! Woo! Great job, Ricky. Great job, guys. That is awesome. Rob was a rising star in NASCAR. His death has left a void which has taken his father years to understand. I think after Rob's accident, I was just in shock, and I just continued, I think, out of reflex, and it took years, you know, before I really kind of looked at the big picture and looked at what I was doing, and, uh, you know, just made the decision. In 1989, at the age of 20, Rob won the NASCAR Busch Grand National Championship. The very next year, he won Rookie of the Year honors in the Winston Cup Series. Who knows how far this father-son duo might have gone? If he'll protect the bottom, I don't believe they can beat him. He goes to the bottom here off turn four. Nice block. Come to Papa, baby. Five wide behind him for the last time through. Yeah. 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 Hamilton wins. Stewart wow. is second, and they are four abreast for third, I believe. Congratulations. I won't, uh, I won't give this to you, Bobby, because you might drop it on your good driver's foot, so uh, we don't want to take those chances. But anyway, we'll have it sent to you, and, uh, and I think that uh, this is something that I know you'll be proud of. Thank you. I'd like to thank Paul Staff for this uh, check for $25,000. This has made, uh, made it one of the richest point standards ever in a NASCAR. Uh. This will be it. Seven-eighths of a mile, the final lap from Iowa. Matt Hawkins, the Canton, Georgia native, looking to win his first ever race in the Arca Remax Series. Justin Allgaier trying to make it four wins to his career, but just not enough laps left in this race. The battle for third, Frank Kimmel's able to get by Matt Carter. Coming out of turn four, Matt Hawkins will see the checkered flag for the first time in his career, winning at Iowa. Incredible job by Matt Hawkins that entire 39 team. The former driver, Kyle Krisilov, who was running for Rookie of the Year, is no longer in that truck, will not be racing for Billy Baloo Motorsports anymore. They are actually caught up in some contractual difficulties. So Kevin Grubb is replacing him in the 15. He was actually scheduled to run this race in a second Billy Baloo truck, the number 51. He's been moved up to the 15. 